Welcome to lesson four, continuing on layers. Let's go ahead and look at my screen that I'm sharing right now. And let's look at this particular image that we're gonna create. This is the final image that we create. And the reason I wanna show you the final image is the importance of labeling your layers. Look at all the different layers that we can see from the clouds in the back, to the pineapple, to the flowers, to the stamp, to the borders, to the postage. And all of these are all layers. And you see the top layer is the border, which is this white border you see around the image. See that? That's the top layer. But you'll notice we have the text lined up, which is the island paradise. You see that? I'm clicking it off, the green text on the bottom. That's called island paradise. And it has some kind of effects and we don't, let's not worry about the effects right now. We're just looking and analyzing the layers. Look at the postage, how it's on top of everything else, but not on top of the borders. So if the postage would have been on top of the borders, you will see that it would go into the border, but it's not. Where's my postage right here? See? The postage marks, see this on the border, see this little dark areas where the postage bleeds onto the border? It's because it's on top of the border. So if I put it back down behind the border, those little black lines disappear. Furthermore, let's look at this image composition. In this image composition, we see, and we can distinguish that the blue sky is the very back, the very bottom of our layer. So if you look at this, surely enough, the background is called clouds and it's absolutely blue. Notice this background layer is actually the, the back, the very back, but notice nothing changes when we select it because we're not viewing it because the blue sky covers this layer. So this layer is never going to be viewed unless we click it off the eye and now you can see the white layer, which is the background, right? So the next layer, can you tell me guys what the next layer is that comes from the back? So we have the blue. I would think it would be this pineapple because it takes up so much area and look at the, how it interacts with all the other objects on the screen. The flower is in front of the pineapple, the stamp is in front of the pineapple. The picture is in front of the pineapple. The wording is in front of the pineapple. The, this purple flower is on top of the pineapple. The only thing that is not on top of the pineapple is the blue sky. So now you can see that the pineapple, it's actually, don't worry about the two pineapples. There's a reason why they, there's two of them. But you'll notice the pineapple one is your second from the bottom layer. I'm not gonna, I'm not counting this white layer because you can't see it anyway. So we have the clouds, which is the very back. Then we have the pineapple layer. Next, we are looking at this image and we're trying to identify what is the next layer that we see in the image. Okay, it's definitely not the Hawaii or the islands. It's not the stamp. At this point, it could be this flower, it can be this stamp or this flower. The reason is it's hard to tell without looking at the layers. If the layers do not interact or touch, you will not be able to assess which are the bottom layers and which are the top. Because the only way to do that is, let me go ahead and select the flower level, is to drag it. And watch, as soon as I go over the image, you'll be able to tell me which is the layer that is on top and which layer is further down towards the bottom. Do you see what just happened? The picture, when I put the flower underneath the picture, the picture went on top of the flower. That means that this flower is below this picture layer. Let's continue. Notice how this flower interacts with the stamp. This tells me that the stamp 
is above the picture layer. Notice the picture layer and the stamp, how they interact. So even if the picture would not be interacting with the stamp layer, I would be able to assess that the stamp layer is at the very top because the picture, this flower is not interacting with the stamp and the stamp is above everybody else. Now, when I move the stamp, the flower, excuse me, over to interact with this other flower, the picture and the stamp, now we realize that our layers are as such. Flower, pineapple, excuse me, background, pineapple, flower, image of the beach, the ender on the chair, next flower, stamp. Notice this Hawaii, it's above this flower, but is this Hawaii above the stamp? Let's find out. Let's move the Hawaii up. Notice Hawaii is the second layer from the top because it's right below the stamp. And we identify the stamp as pretty much the top layer besides the borders. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the borders. So the stamp is the top layer, then comes Hawaii. How about this island paradise? Is this above Hawaii or below Hawaii? Let's find out. Notice the interaction. Island paradise sits on top of Hawaii because you can see the layer when you place it over Hawaii. If it was in reverse, like this, let me drag the Hawaii layer on top of Island Paradise. Notice you can only see a sliver of Island Paradise. You see that? Let's go ahead and move it. See how it's below now? Hawaii is above the Island Paradise. The Island Paradise is below Hawaii. But if the layers don't interact, it doesn't matter which one is below and which is on top, as long as the layers are not interacting. When it matters most is when the layers interact, meaning that right here, here, Hawaii, the island is interacting with this flower and this pineapple. So in this particular case, the layer, where the layers are matters. Let's find out. Let's go ahead and take the pineapple and move it to the top of my Hawaii. That doesn't make very much sense. It's not a pretty composition. We, have, we see a stamp, we see a pineapple on top of the flower, on top of our flowers, and there's my border. That doesn't make a good composition. Anyway, thank you for joining me for for an additional topic review of layers. The next, in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and create this image and work with layers individually.